your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. The only avenue to success in the auto industry or any industry is having the products that people want when they want them. Despite this simple business principle, Jaguar, well known for its pricey midsize and larger sedans, hasn't been a player in the growing near luxury sedan class. But now Jaguar is ready to fill their empty niche with the all new 2002 X-Type. But can Jag's new cat, even with all wheel drive, claw its way to the pinnacle of budget luxury? That depends solely on how much the 2002 Jaguar X-Type impresses buyers who might otherwise opt for a Mercedes C-Class, BMW 3 Series, or Lexus ES300. But the Jaguar name alone makes it a serious player. Beyond that, the X-Type shares its basic platform with Ford of Europe's new front-drive Mondeo sedan. But the all-wheel drive Jag has less than 20% of its parts in common with the Mondeo. Size is spot on, wheelbase 106.7 inches, overall length 183.9 inches, right in the middle of the near luxury class. Externally, the X-Type is every inch a Jaguar, with the brand's smooth traditional sheet metal and a low CD of .32. The nose features a compact XJ style grille and four oval shaped headlights with a Xenon option which are the starting points for the multiple hood bulges, a Jaguar design cue that dates back to the original Mark I sedan prototype of the 1950s. The tail is also reminiscent of the larger XJ sedan, but looks tighter, younger, more athletic. The body meets the pavement by way of standard 16-inch alloy wheels. Opt for our test car sport package and you get 17-inch alloys wearing ZR rated 225-45 tires. Turning all four Jaguar rims for the first time ever is a standard all-wheel drive system. Developed by Visteon, it uses a planetary center differential with a viscous coupling to send 40% of the engine's torque to the front and 60% to the rear. The engines themselves are two versions of the S-Type's AJ V6 with variable valve timing. 2.5 or 3 liters in displacement, they combine Ford's Duratec aluminum block with Jaguar design twin cam 24 valve alloy heads, all coming together at Ford's Cleveland, Ohio engine facility. The 2.5 delivers 194 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque, while our car's 3 liter produced 231 fluid horsepower and 209 pound-feet of torque. Transmissions for both engines include our test car's 5-speed cable-operated manual or a state-of-the-art 5-speed automatic complete with Jaguar's J-Gate shifter with manual override. With the pure manual gear change being worked hard, the X-Type sprints to 60 and 7 seconds flat. The quarter mile ends in 15.4 seconds at 94 miles per hour. Power builds smoothly and quietly from a strong bottom end until petering out at just over 6,000 RPM. The manual shifter handles it all very well. While a little rubbery between gears, it's light yet engages solidly, very much like a BMW. The clutch, unfortunately, is also BMW light, lacking feel and engaging very late in the pedal travel. But we have no reservations about the fully independent suspension, which consists of a twin-tube McPherson strut set up up front and a torsion-controlled multi-link design in the rear. It delivers a near-neutral feel with nicely weighted, if somewhat numb, speed-sensitive steering. If that sounds like the same comments we've made recently about the 3 Series, you're right. But here, the standard all-wheel drive system combined with sticky tires and optional stability control delivers tons of all-weather grip. ABS-equipped four-wheel disc brakes with electronic brake distribution are standard. Pedal feel is a bit soft, but stops from 60 average to good 118 feet. Fade and stability were sports sedan level. During rapid switchbacks, both at our test track and during our initial drive in France, we noticed that the body does tend to rock a bit due to the soft springs, but the ultra stiff chassis never suffers the bends. But those springs also give the X-Type an impressive level of ride quality. It's just the right balance between sports sedan firm and luxury car plush, or like a Jaguar, as is the interior. On the surface, 100% English luxury, with plenty of handsome bird's eye maple trim on the dash and doors, as well as Connolly leather, also standard, on our test car's superb power adjustable sport seats. Gauges are deeply set, clear analog dials. 
the optional 7-inch touchscreen display, which incorporates audio, climate, phone, and a DVD-based satellite navigation system, is a more intuitive system than most. Voice activation can be added, too. Another option are 70-30 split folding rear seat backs. Abundant rear seat room is not a hallmark of near luxury sedans and the X-Type approximates its competition. Trunk space, however, soundly beats its better rivals, measuring 16 cubic feet. But despite all its fine features and abilities, the X-Type's best feature may be its price. Base price for the 2.5 liter manual is $30,595. Step up to 3-liter power and the price starts at $36,595. This makes the 2002 Jaguar X-Type a more than competitively priced package. A price that we think, along with styling, features, performance, and the Jaguar heritage, puts the top spot in the near luxury class easily within a claw's reach, clawing up the competition in the process. There are three phases to total automotive safety. Phase one is avoidance, trying to help the driver from getting into trouble in the first place. Phase two is maintaining control if trouble occurs. And phase three is protecting the occupants in a crash. Phase one and phase two involve the use of the latest in electronic driver aids, like ABS anti-lock brakes that help a driver maintain steering control in a panic stop an ESP electronic stability program that recognizes unstable handling situations and reacts automatically to help correct them. Phase three involves the use of airbags and other advanced passive restraints as well as energy absorbing automotive structures. By using all of the technology available today, we can drive safer America. Coming up, big